with weather. We got plenty of rain to talk about in the forecast over the next several days, but we're going to start with some more sunrise pictures because they keep coming in on social media on Facebook and on Twitter. Let's take a look at a Twitter picture. This is from South Clarksville. This is from Kelly with an eye as she emphasizes right in her name there, her display name. That is a beautiful shot there of the sky over Clarksville. Some pictures from Facebook. This is from Kevin Lorenz sunrise just five miles north of Lebanon. The sky just on fire this morning. So that's the theme you're going to see throughout these pictures. Alice Betterton sent this picture to me on Facebook as well to have a location on that one pulled up on screen, but you know it's just beautiful everywhere across the mid state or it was. It was kind of a brief window to get these pictures. Robin Poole, this is from Fredonia. Shelley Wyatt, Smith County sunrise there, beautiful with the barn in the foreground. Pam Barrett from Bowling Green, Kentucky, a little ways to our north, seeing the sun peeking over the horizon. Scottsville, Kentucky, Jalen Hume, so the Kentucky side of the border, right with us in Middle Tennessee, seeing that beautiful sunrise. Steve Willoughby from Gallatin, similar view to what we've seen from a couple of pictures earlier in Hendersonville. April Shockley just outside of Fall Creek Falls, the Piney community, seeing that sun, a few more peaks of sunshine there in eastern middle Tennessee throughout the day. And Sean Hammock, Birdstown, that is a beautiful view there with those clouds reflecting the first rays of sunlight. Another one from Sheila Smith in Castellian Springs. Yvonne Ogren from Old Hickory. And again, if I'm mispronouncing anybody's name, I do apologize. We just want to get the pictures on the air and give you credit for it. And my friend Tia chimed in from Myrtle Beach. Pretty sunrise there as well. Little jealous of that one, but it's hard to be too jealous of somebody else's weather when we've had such warm weather over the last several days. It's going to be warm and breezy again today, but what we're seeing this morning is rain already just to the west of the Tennessee River, Callaway County, Kentucky, Henry County on the Tennessee side of the border, seeing some light to even moderate rain in the western portions of those counties. That's moving almost straight north, but the best chance of rain today is going to be along the Tennessee River. The more substantial rain is out to our west near Memphis, down into Mississippi, and the heaviest rain with the system, little. Rock, Shreveport, out to the west towards Dallas. It just keeps raining and raining and raining heavily on the same areas over and over again. They're also going to have a severe weather threat in that part of the country today. Our severe weather potential is going to remain very low. Temperatures right now are warm, upper 50s at the coolest, 58 Livingston, 57 Tullahoma, Paris, and in Murray. That rain cooled air farther west, but low 60s in Nashville, and we're going to hit the upper 70s for highs this afternoon way above normal for this time of year. Let's take a look at Futurecast and show you how the rain chances are going to shape up. It's got a pretty good handle on where the rain is this morning. It's a little too aggressive and pushing it farther to the east, but I'd rather give you the most aggressive forecast model and let you plan for the worst and hope for the best in terms of your outdoor activities. Most of us are going to stay dry through the day with that best chance of rain staying out to our west and to our northwest. This evening, one round of rain tries to move in from the west, but the dry air over the mid-state is still going to be reluctant to let that rain hit the ground, so it's going to eat away at that first wave of rainfall. Best chance of showers. A few thunderstorms tonight will be west of I-65. We start off tomorrow morning with once again showers and thunderstorms in northwestern middle Tennessee. Then as we head through the day, we are going to see more of an eastward progression to those rain chances, especially around the middle of the day into the afternoon. One line of showers and thunderstorms finally pushes into the eastern half of the mid state with some heavier rainfall and then a little break and then we'll do the whole thing over again with more showers on the way Thursday night into Friday. That's the pattern that's going to repeat itself over and over again. Overall, the heaviest rain will fall in the western and northwestern parts of the mid state over the next several days. But even there, we're not overly concerned about flooding issues. It's just something we'll keep an eye on just in case that rain falls a bit more heavily. Often on showers and thunderstorms through the weekend, not raining everywhere all the time, and trying to pin down specific timing and placement is going to be really tough. We'll just keep you updated on a day-by-day -day basis so you can plan ahead a little bit, but have an indoor alternative for any outdoor plans all the way through the weekend. We're going to be right back with what's trending here on Channel 4 News Today. Stick around.